Hey guys, and welcome to not a lesson with me, but something a little bit different for the weekend. Me, Rex Pearson from RexPearson.com. Hope you had an awesome week. Now, it's a little bit different because I sliced my finger cooking some bolognese last night, which means I can't do a guitar lesson. So I thought I would share with you a couple of cool uh, videos that I'd like you to see. Now, the first one comes from a guy called The Tree Man. Now, we've all been there where we've, uh, where we've had a bit of struggling with um, playing a part. Maybe you, uh, you're working on a solo and you're struggling with a lick. Most people get a little bit frustrated. Now my advice would be to stop playing. Relax, focus on something else, and then come back to it with a fresh mindset. Never get angry. Now most people would stop at that point um, realize that the guitar isn't for them, perhaps on that day, go out, have a drink, enjoy, enjoy yourself, and then come back to it later if you feel like it. Well, this is what this guy did. Oh, that's it, that's f***ing it! I've had it at the f***ing budget, f***ing man! The other thing I'd like to point out, and it happens quite a lot, is um, you often find that when you're playing the guitar, you think there's something inherently wrong with your body. Some people think their hands are too small, some people think that their mind can't think quick enough. There's a whole host of reasons, and the truth is, it's just that there isn't enough practice there to be able to get it feeling natural. And it will come with time, just don't get frustrated. And whatever you do, don't beat yourself up about it. Oh, Save your it. <laughs> This wrist is doing my energy! When you're angry, no matter how angry you are, it's not your guitar's fault. It's your own. <laughs> Remember, it's not your guitar's fault if you can't play a part. <laughs> So there you got it guys, Mr. Tree Man. How not to react when you're playing guitar um, and you're dealing with a difficult part. This isn't working. This. Now the second thing I'd like to show you guys today is um, is another way that you can release your anger, maybe if, you, uh, if you're feeling like it. Now this guy is uh, a busker in London, but he's not just any old busker. Now this guy totally steals the show outside of a London tube station. Back my God, we died! And I'm already dead! Now what gets me about this little clip that I'm going to show you is how people in London um, can ignore almost anything that you throw at them. Just take a look at the girl who walks out of the tube when uh, this guy is doing his thing. Walking into devil's blood! Devil's all right guys, now the final thing I'd like to show you, finish on a positive note here after dealing with all that anger. Um, we all have times where we're thinking our hands aren't good enough for what we want them to do. They might not move where you want them to go, or they might not be able to do the chord that you want to be able to play at that time. Well, this guy is, uh, is an inspiration to us all, and uh, we should take a couple of lessons. The next time you think that your hands aren't good enough for playing guitar, have a watch of this. So there you go guys, three videos to inspire and to help you deal with the anger that may be in your lives at the moment. Um, remember, don't follow the tree, man's, uh, the tree man's advice because you might end up doing something like this. So guys, have a great week. Remember that um, your guitar is always there to practice and pick it up um, as much as you can. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out and enjoy. This isn't working. This.